Yo, so what's going on, Warfighters? My name is Pwnstar, and we are back playing some more Medal of Honor Warfighter, continuing that Apache with Every Gun show. Today we're using the secondary 870, with the exception of this kill right here. I was just, I, was, I don't know. I, I, I didn't mean for this to turn into an Apache, but I realized I was going on kind of a little tear with the 870, and I'm like, you know what, feck it. Let's go for it, bro. Um, and that's what this is. The 870 is a surprisingly inaccurate but happy gun and i know that's kind of weird like what did you describe it as that because there are times i'll shoot a guy at point blank and he doesn't die but again there's times i'll shoot a guy at, at medium range and it, it kills him and it actually leaves this look on my face like huh like right there that guy should have died so many times and it's just weird because sometimes you can be right up on a guy he'll turn around and be like yo did you get the plates on that mosquito that just bit me it does like no damage and it's so so disappointing so the gun is so unreliable so I'm glad to have this out of the way with the Apache with every gun show. I am playing on sector control, which makes it a little bit easier for me. I mean, spawn trapping is quite nice. Uh, it is, uh, of course, in the point main category. Therefore, I do have things like the UAV to, I guess, keep me occupied. Normally, I like wedging one of those counterclockwise into a bum hole, but um, I didn't feel like wasting it. Instead, I decided to help my team and help me out because I know with an 870, I've got to be close up quarters. This is actually a 26-0 gameplay, so it's a flawless 26-kill gameplay with the 870 shotgun, which I thought was pretty cool, pretty impressive. It's one of my better flawless gameplays. I mean, in, like, Call of Duty standards, 26 ain't nothing, but, like, for Medal of Honor and everything like that, it was a solid game. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. I took a massive poop last night. I, I know you guys are like, Pone, why are you telling me that? Because I felt like I needed to share this with you, because... Just like every person, you know, how many times you're on the toilet, you're just sitting there on the, uh, on, on the Porcelain King, and you're like, oh my god, and you're like on Twitter or something, and, and all of a sudden this turd comes out, and you feel so relieved, you know what I mean? Stress is gone, there's no worries, it's just, oh, uh, it's like relaxing, it's, it's, oh, it's incredible, I don't know what happened, right? So lucky. But, you know, I, I want to talk about this, because there are, there are a few things in the world that really, really uh, excite men. And, and do things for you like pooping can. And I know it sounds so awkward because it's, I guess, a foul elimination process. But there are very few things that I think really, really get a guy off. You know what I mean? Like, And that's, that's for example, sex. Sex is something that a lot of guys look forward to. I'm stressed. I just feel like, you know, I, maybe I need to bust a nut to go to bed. Whatever. You know what I mean? Sometimes guys will fasturbate or they'll have sex or something like that. Very few things are on the level of sex, you know, when it comes down to relief and feeling and how you feel and everything like that. And complete honesty, very few things are. I think pooping is one of them. That's right. I know. I, I really, really do like a good shit. Now, I don't know if it's because a good one doesn't come around often. I, it may be rare, and because it is rare and uncommon, it, it makes it that much more valuable. I mean, if, if you just really want to get off, you can go jerk it on your uh, bathroom mirror or something, you know what I mean? Uh-huh, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> if you got a sister, you know, every one of her pictures, and she got the little look like toothpaste stains on the mirror, no, 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 that was me. Um, and I, I really, really, do, really, really do think that, you know, defecating can really, really help uh, a, a person out through the day, and it's really rare to find one, because sometimes it's just like, it does everything, man. It takes his, if you got a, you got a sore back, it heals it, bro. It's like Jesus or something. It's incredible. And I know it's so weird. I, I, did I just compare shitting to Jesus? I, I, I feel, I don't feel bad for things often, but I think I just compared Jesus to shitting. But, um, it, it is, it is quite something. And I, and I didn't realize how valuable pooping can be. I mean, because sometimes you just get in there, get out of there, whatever, go on with your day. But every once in a while, there's that one good thing. It's like when you go to Taco Bell or something, and you get your standard order, and, you know, sometimes it's just like, eh, kind of, you know, soft or mushy and whatever. And then sometimes you get one of those, and you're like, damn, this is good. Point me to the motherfucking five-star chef that made this. You know, you, you get surprised sometimes. So that one random poop that feels so good, this commentary is for you, bro. I absolutely love having those, and it, it's such a relief. I mean, I wish there was a way that you can have them more often. I, I would be pooping all the time. I mean, it's great for relief. It's great for stress. It's back pain. I swear to God, dude, it feels like you lost 20 pounds when you do that thing sometimes. But I know it's completely weird that I just talked about shit in the commentary. But I had to point this. I mean, what else in your mind is that? I mean, food is one of the other things that really, really, I guess, fills that hole for me. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, sex obviously gets you off relief, stress, very, very relieving, relaxing, everything like that. Pooping can do it. I mean, you can have a bad day and you take a massive poop and all of a sudden, you know, just everything is just drained out of you and you're ready to go. Much better mood. Another one is cravings. I guess it always comes down to craving. Every guy wants to bust a nut. Every guy, 
I would like to take a massive shit. And whether or not you're sitting there nodding like, no, nah, that ain't me. You don't fucking lie to me, bro. And another one would be food for me. And I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's like, you know, catching a legendary Pokemon or something. I don't know. But for me, it's, it's all about food. You know, if I'm really craving that five guys, burgers and fries, that official motherfucking shit, mmm, damn. Yeah, then I officially want to go ahead and, you know, have one of those. And when I do, you know, sink my teeth into it, it's that much more relieving. It's like that day that just sucked ass. Nah, I feel better. And then the best part that could that could be that could, that that five guys can get the assist because then if a, a giant dump comes after that, we just had the best day in our life. You know what I mean? It's just incredible. So I just wanted to put that in your face real quick. Um, rub it in. Uh, yeah, just take it. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know how to fight back after this commentary. For those that were extremely disgusted, I, <laughs> I laugh at you. For everybody else that was like, yeah, man, I know what you're talking about, you know. Look at that shove. That's that's us right now. So, uh, thanks. Yeah, they're totally gay lovers. They share a bed. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.